So Jill, we're talking about investing in an LLC and I, I see here checkbook control. What is that? Could you explain to folks? Sure. Checkbook control. Um, some administrators or custodians don't offer this uh, for their clients. And checkbook control, there are some advantages to it and there's some disadvantages. Okay. Um, just like someone would use their IRA to invest in an entity, let's say they're going to invest in their friend's startup or something. The same thing, if you're going to have a checkbook control, your IRA is going to invest in an entity where the IRA is the managing member. So this means that you would instruct us to invest in your, your entity owned by your IRA. Okay. The IRA would then go get a bank account, just like any entity would. They would go to the bank and get a bank account. And the bank account would be owned by the IRA, which is managed by the, uh, owned by the LLC, which is managed by the IRA. So that means that- Wait, wait, go through that okay. again. Just, <laughs> okay. just so we can all see for sure. <laughs> so the, the entity will go okay. get an LLC. The entity is owned by the IRA. And so the LLC then requires a bank account. The bank account gets opened and then you have checkbook for your IRA. Now there's some very um, important uh, things to be worried about um, as far as prohibited transactions or unfettered access to the bank account. Okay. One thing that a lot of our clients do is they might have their sister run the bank account for their checkbook control IRA. But what this does is this allows you to pay the plumber on the spot. The plumber um, does its service and it needs $300. You pay it on the spot. Normally in IRA, you would contact iPlan Group to pay the plumber. And there's a little extra step there. We are, we're mailing the check. We're keeping the records. But in a checkbook IRA, you are writing the check. Or, Control. Or, I can take care of it right now. Yes, I don't have to go, yes. hey, Jill. Uh, or your designated I need... agent. Correct. Okay. So it's just yes. a little more efficient then? Yeah. And sometimes one of the things that works uh, well for is a, is a, uh, an an auction. Let's say you have an auction on a Saturday or a Sunday and you need to write a check. We're closed, obviously. We can expedite it on Monday morning, but uh, so some people do like checkbook control for that. Uh, it is you, you do need to be very careful and you want to definitely consult yeah. a, an attorney, but it's it can be a really powerful tool for for someone who's more of an advanced investor. That's pretty neat. Of course, mm -hmm. if I was at an auction sometimes, I might not want that because I might. might be, no, too much. No. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for yeah, sharing, Joe. Sure, sure. Thank you.